Hey guys, Justin here coming at you with another unboxing video from the 2x2 test tent. This one is actually going to be from Growstar. I've reviewed uh, one of their lights in the past, little uh, cob light. It was actually uh, pretty good, had some good uh, feedback from people that bought it. So I decided to go ahead and review one of their new lights. It is one of the least expensive, uh, like, board style lights that are out there. Hate to say quantum board, but that's kind of like, I mean, it's an HLG thing, but it's kind of like what everybody's copying now. So um, that's that's basically what it is. It's just a board LED. And, uh, and so this is a very, very budget option that I wanted to show people. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get into it. We've got, uh, of course, we've got the uh, PAR and spectrometer. We've got the watt meter. We've got the heat meter. And we've got the meter meter and baby katana so let's get the uh, meters out of the way and we will get down to business and of course it is from Amazon so it is gonna be a box in a box you get that discreet shipping so everybody doesn't know that you're buying a grow light although with a grow light this small it could be for actually for tomatoes or veggies or herbs or something <laughs> this one's going to be pretty small so we'll get that box out of the way let's see where we at on this one this side there we go let's see what we've got inside here get that to bend back a little bit there perfect all right, well that's interesting. <laughs> I already see. I was like, oh, that's a, a very uh, uh, recognizable color scheme on that driver there. But then if you look a little closer, which we will, uh, it's not what you think. <laughs> but nice try though. Nice try. Uh, so what you get in the package here is a single rope ratchet. One single plastic geared rope ratchet. There you go. We've got the hanging kit. So it will need to be stabilized or use another rope ratchet or two. We'll see how that works. And then of course the power cord does look like it does have a uh, yeah a unscrew disconnect down here to make that somewhat waterproof. So there's that, and then we've got a little, little baby user's manual. This thing's, <laughs> this is a tiny little book. All right, let's get, let's get a little closer to the camera here. <laughs> this book's small. All right, so there's a the intro, specifications, full spectrum, what the package includes. And then, uh, oh, we go into different languages then. So we're just going to go through English. So there's a bunch of different languages, apparently. Yeah, it's in, like, every language. That's a th actually a pretty thick little book there. I was like, man, this is going to be a long manual. And we've got a service card. Service card there. Interesting. Now let's get down to the light. Let's see if we can dig it out of the packaging. Pretty nice. It has some little uh, little corner protectors on here. Let's go ahead and pull those off. I like also that it has really big holes here. So I am going to probably use rope ratchets on this. So I mean that that's nice. You can actually use some rope ratchets on there. Um, pretty standard. I mean it's a it's a board. It's LEDs on a board super thin except for the driver uh, the driver looks like it is detachable but you can't really go very far because I mean that's as far as you can go so technically not detachable physically yes but technically no uh, you've got the power cable here of course yeah that's uh, that's the layout there is no uh, there is no dimmer uh, the dimmer is there one on the underside Trying to look on the underside here. We'll look together. No, I don't see any bumps on there. So there's no 
no dimmer at all on this driver not even a put a screwdriver in it style of dimmer but uh here's here's what i was talking about on the driver itself you recognize what that actually looks like like if i if i cover that what company's driver does that look like and then if i uncover that even what company's driver does it look like if you don't read exactly what this says that's that's definitely knockoff <laughs> to a degree i would say uh it's supposed to look like meanwhile uh but it is uh np new power so we'll see uh the diodes also are just a uh non descriptive uh just regular smd diode uh, it was interesting they do say in the description um that it's uh gonna be pretty high quality so we'll see uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see how many how many pars it'll push <laughs> but yeah let's uh, let's get this sucker hooked up this is gonna be a pretty quick one actually because uh, there is no dimmer uh, no way to test it we may test a couple of different heights uh, just to kind of get it dialed in but uh, yeah let's get going on it okay so uh, interesting thing here um, <laughs> I was just commenting uh, earlier on how I like the larger holes here uh, because they would be great for rope ratchets, which they they are. But what they aren't good for is the attached hardware or the hardware that came with it. Um, these literally can't stretch far enough to go in that hole. So I'm not really sure... Uh, you're supposed to make that work um, basically it, it comes with no hanging hardware is is what I'm saying because this there's no way to get this in here there's just it it won't go like even as far as you can push it <laughs> there's no way to get it in there even from the corner um, <laughs> Okay, so that's the first time I've had a company send out a light uh, that had a hanging kit that just didn't work. Um, interesting. But, what it does work with, like I said, really well, is rope ratchets. I mean, that's, that's actually really nice for a rope ratchet. So, cool design for the rope ratchet. Um, not, not so great for the included hanging hardware. And the one rope ratchet that they include uh, this this thing's gonna need four rope ratchets to hang this properly so yeah four rope ratchets interesting <laughs> all right let's hook it up all right we are back and we've got everything all hooked up I did use four rope ratchets it does work really well with the rope ratchets as you can see the holes are plenty big even for larger rope ratchets, it would work. But, uh, yeah, not with the uh, attached hanging stuff. But whatever. We'll make it work. For the price this light is, I'm, I'm sure some of you out there will make it work as well. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. I will say that. It's a really good price. Um, you can see that we got some LEDs bunched up over here on this side to make room for the, uh, the little box there. So that's an interesting little little design uh, we've got uh, looks like cool white warm white pretty standard and then we've got a couple of infrared that's the little dim red ones there but pretty pretty standard overall like I said no uh, no dimmer there's no dimmer underneath there's no dimmer on the sides there's no dimmer in line it's just BAM there it is full full power the whole time uh, let's kick the uh, the watt cam on there there we go watt cams on looks like 91.4 watts it's pulling right now at the wall not too bad it looks pretty bright it looks fairly bright let's see uh, let's see what kind of readings we get here first reading 425 that's not too bad uh, that's a little bit high for me for veg. I like to keep it below 400, but 25 isn't too much over that. 
and I'm sure once we take it out to the sides, it'll even out. Oh yeah, 236. So you know, that's, on the other side, that's a little bit low. That's more for like seedlings, maybe even a little high for seedlings. And then the corner. Two twenty. It didn't drop. It didn't drop very much more in the corner. That's nice. Let's check the uh, far edge. Two o four. Two forty five. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna work for veg at this height. It's going to veg pretty well. This is a, a little bit larger than a 2x2 two two also. I always want to point that out. Uh, this tent is 27 by 27 So it is 3 inches uh, longer on each, uh, on each end. So it is a little bit bigger space for something like this to cover. It would definitely work a little bit better in a true 2x2. Two two, but not too bad in here. I mean, at this height, you could definitely veg with it. Let's uh, let's drop it down and we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of flower numbers we can get with this. All right, we are back and we've got it dropped down to a 12 inch canopy height, which puts us at 17 inches off the floor, 17 and a half actually, because there again my meter is five and a half inches, so 12 inches off the canopy is right there. There's the canopy, and now we're ready to go. So let's see, uh, I imagine this is going to be enough to flower with. Let's take a look here. 622. That is definitely enough to flower with. Anything above 600, uh, you'd definitely be able to uh, create some decent nugs. Uh, in the 500 range, you're still going to get some buds, but anything below that is, is pretty lacking, uh, to be quite honest. So let's take a look at the side. 283 <laughs> well how about if it was a <clears throat> more like a two by two we'll turn it in a little bit give it a benefit of the doubt 377 still a little bit low far corner of course you know that's going to be pretty low 181 side over there 193 53 so yeah it's uh it's gonna be a little rough uh to flower with this one in anything larger than uh probably man let's see 371 431 okay so one foot by one foot basically <laughs> Basically, the footprint of the light is what you can flower in. One foot by one foot. Um, I usually don't do this, but I, I'm kind of curious. Let's drop it down again. I just want to see if I can get any sort of decent decent coverage in like a, maybe even a two by two. So let's, let's check it out. All right, guys. We are back, and we are down to nine inches now. 14 and a half inches off the floor, nine inches off the canopy because of the meter. Now let's take a look and see what we got. 981 in the middle. So definitely big nug territory there, but it's really just gonna be the footprint of the light. You can see where I'm at here, right next to the light. 609. This side, right next to the light. 576. And then we'll go on this side, just above the edge of the light. 590. So, like I said, uh, it's basically just the footprint of the light. But if you want to run it 9 inches off the canopy, and you've got a stealth grow of some sort... Um, you may be able to pull it off if you've got enough ventilation. It does run pretty warm. Uh, the board is extremely hot, and it does have a scald warning caution sign logo sticker there. This, this will burn you. Like, it is super hot. 
super hot. I can't even really touch it for that long. The driver, not, not nearly as hot. The driver's not bad. It's warm, bordering, bordering hot, but fairly warm. This is ex, dry shit. That's hot. <laughs> that is hot. So yeah, this sucker runs a little bit warm. I believe uh, as far as the board goes, it is fairly thin and has a lot of diodes packed on there. But yeah, it runs uh, runs pretty hot. Let's let it warm up a little bit more. Uh, we'll give it a, uh, a chance to warm up and we'll check it with the heat gun and we'll see just how hot it is. So we will be back in a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. I did want to test the, uh, the spectrum versus the spectrum that's in the manual here. So let's uh, give it a quick reading there and then we'll lay them side by side. and get a comparison here. So there's on the meter versus that. Let me move the light a little bit so we can get a little bit better picture on that. So it looks like they've got a little bit more red or well, orange than what they're saying. So that's good. But not as much green as what they're saying, which in some people's opinion is bad. I, I don't think it's a big deal. But uh, pretty close, really. This is a little bit more condensed and a little bit more spread out on the graphing there. But um, yeah, not, not really far off. Just a little far off on the green, I'd say. And a little higher on the red, which, like I said, that's not bad. So not too bad. Not too bad on the spectrum. All right, I've let it warm up for a while now, so let's bust out the heat meter and take a look at it. Now, this is a shiny surface on the board, so it is going to read much cooler. As you can see, it's reading like 116. One, yeah, it's definitely not that. Uh, it's reading 131 underneath the driver. And then the top of the driver does have a sticker, and that's reading 117. The driver doesn't seem to really be getting that hot just in this one spot here 119 120 maybe but not too bad the driver's not being worked too hard but the telling part is if we get over here where this sticker is 132 on the board that's going to be a much more accurate reading for the board because it's a black sticker so yeah, that's one of the hottest boards I've ever tested. And it felt like it too, even with the hand test. So this thing is running extremely hot. Usually they're 122 to 125. This thing's running as hot as a driver normally would. So it, it does put out some heat, but it's a cheap option. If you need a small light like this, if you need a side light, if you need a tiny space, uh, veg light, grow light, whatever. It could be an option for you, but there's a lot of options out there in this class. So definitely take a look around. But if you would like to take a look at this one a little bit more, link below. And uh, there is a discount code down there. You can get it even cheaper. A couple different ways. You can get it through their website, also through Amazon. I believe Amazon is a little cheaper at this point, but you'll want to check both links below and see which one's cheaper for you if you are interested in this but um that's about all i'm gonna really say it's pretty basic you guys saw the uh the numbers on it so till next time guys happy growing